Hello, my name's Cleve West and I'm a garden designer. Um, seven years ago, I adopted a vegan lifestyle and since then I've learned more about the devastating environmental damage caused by animal agriculture, how its greenhouse gas emissions are a major contributor to climate change and how inefficient it is. I've learned that a global shift to a plant-based diet would free up three quarters of the Earth's land for reforesting and rewilding and that going vegan is really the easiest way of, of uh, reducing my carbon footprint. As a gardener, going vegan suddenly made a whole lot of sense because it's all about plants. A plant-based system could not only feed the world but would need far less land. Um, so I then watched films like Earthlings, Dominion, Land of Hope and Glory, I mean just to see things from the animal's perspective and of course it was more disturbing than anything I could have imagined. Um, I wrote a book, The Garden of Vegan, explaining more about how plants can improve the health of the planet and put an end to all the suffering we inflict on animals for nothing more than the fleeting taste sensation. Now with the prospect of animal agriculture causing future pandemics, um, antibiotic resistance and food insecurity, there have never been so many reasons to shift to a plant-based diet. And of course the problem with all that is that um, most of us have been brought up, like me, um, and they're very set in their ways, you know, and we'll look for all sorts of counter arguments, especially when it comes to environmental issues. So please try and consider things from the animal's point of view and, and what they have to suffer for our pleasures. Some think that being vegan is difficult and that uh, huge sacrifices have to be made, but the reality, of course, is that if you focus on the victim and not yourself, it's just the opposite, and, and with all the vegan options available these days, it's never really been easier. In fact, I can honestly say that over the last seven years, I've, I've eaten some of the best food I've ever had in my life. So please, you know, help us spread the word that the time for animal liberation has come, and share this message with as many people as you can, either by word of mouth or on social media. Uh, and if you can show your solidarity with those who can't stand up for themselves and speak for themselves, Please join us at Speaker's Corner at Hyde Park in, in London on uh, Saturday 6th of August for this year's Animal Rights March. Thank you very much.